tractor ride? Dad and I are on our way to the LaGrange Antique Engine Show in Wellington, Ohio, and it's September 21st. It's a beautiful day, and we're going to go see what we can find. So jump in, take a look, and let's see what's there. Yeah, and, they're not, and people are not parking here, which tells me this gate's not open. And I'd be correct. Here, this guy took up 22 spaces with his rig. Where you get in it. We started out with a clean windshield, whatever that bird spot or big dead bug was. They got us in route. Back side of the steam tractor. Well, Dad and I are in Wellington, Ohio at the LaGrange Engine Club uh, engine show. And uh, we're going to go take a look here at the flea market, the tractor show, the car show. Steam tractor's over there. If I can walk by the end of this, this thing is huge. Got my funky GoPro hat on, and we're going to go have some fun. So let's get at it and go see what we can find. So come on into the office and get your t-shirts. We got hats. So uh, various colors and stop on in. One geezer and one cripple, please. One geezer, one cripple. Yep. <laughs> one ten. Okay. And... Yeah, I'm not okay. making light of anyone's physical issues. I got Between it. Dad yeah, and I, we've had a yep. whole lot of stuff wrong. Thank you. We all have our challenges. <laughs> Any day we can still drag ourselves around a steam show, we're going to do it. Yeah, keep going until you can't go anymore. Yeah. Hey, a big barn fan. My friend Matt, we run across him and his son a little later in this adventure. Five bucks. I 
We've got a pretty good shelf of old paint guns going now. I'm not on the HVLP bandwagon, but I'm only picking up certain ones and I'm not paying more than five or ten bucks a piece. Go take a look. I'm gonna look over here. If I can keep it from getting run over. Hello. You drafting? Yeah. <laughs> Saving energy until the, I get to my ride. There you go. Tractor show, taxidermy critters. The turkey actually gets a pass. I've seen way, way worse. The blacksmith shop and in there, wood carvers have some really nice woodwork in there. They have stuff uh, as well as for sale with the holidays coming up. It's a good idea. Of course, be careful in the flea market. There's a lot of people roaming around here today, so when you're motoring around, be very careful. You don't want anyone to be hurt. So, Students find a 65R for Doc. That's going to be up all high. Yeah. Up all high. I ate service manual for what? Oh, Quiet Line Cub Cadets. Tune up cabinet, we still haven't hung up yet. Yeah. Well, there's Matt and Tristan out looking for Coleman stuff. Figured we'd find you guys here. There's a guy over there with about a hundred lanterns. Yeah, I see. You clean them out already? <laughs> oh, that's cool. What is that? Nice. Yeah, okay, sweet. Yeah, that is. It's been modified. Huh? First time I've ever been to this show. Really? I've always meant to. It's yeah. Dad and I try to get here about every other year, but yeah. that's an oldie. Yeah, that's the oldest one here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a conglomeration. The huh? top half is 70s. Yeah. The bottom's 51. I was gonna say the bottom, the. Uh, but it's got a kerosene preheat cup in it. Okay. It's not kerosene. So Weird. I don't know what's up with that? Yeah. Somebody threw all their parts together. What do you got on just this? Uh, all right. You negotiate. We're gonna wonder. We'll catch up with you guys later. That's an airplane. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's a boat. Okay. Yeah. So that's a radio, not a rotary, though. It's a radio. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of boat would they put a Continental radial on? Like a LST type boat. 
seems like high RPM and low torque for a landing craft. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know what they're thinking there. Yellow is yellow, I guess. Now they're way down, but I want to come around to those from the other side. Silver can. Oh, that thing's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Hey, if you're still with us at this point watching, take a second and go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. on there that's classy coming off there. Little tiny radiator. That engine bay is too tight for me to be swapping a V8 into one of these. Cute little car though, isn't it? I can make something out of one of them. Oh my god.
my head's taking video, so I gotta. Not a Greenbrier. That's a Chevy van. That's different. They put the engines up front like a uh, the Conoline. They were mid mount. Is that beautiful? There's that Vista Cruiser, I love those things. Dodge. It's like a, right out of the barn, Dad. Until you look under this there. thing. It looks like a 30, like a 3280. They were about five generations removed from this. Oh, five they, generations? Yeah. They yeah, went okay. from this to the 102 that got the square fenders, unless you had a 71, and you go to the 123s. Well, 122 and 123 in the same generation. Yeah. Yep. 124 and 125. It's kind of an evolution of those, and then the 127s. Then you go to your wide frames, then your quiet lines like a 1450, <laughs> and then you get to your 782 series. He just put you in a damn shame. We've had like 50 Cub Cadets. We've, re we've restored about 20 of them. You sound like Norton down there. Well, he's probably got more than 20. Well, we have 20. We're down to 20. This is my only one I got. This is the only one I got. I've had three or four hundreds I've done. but This is the only one I got room for. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah, I didn't say we have room for them. Yeah, we got to walk from seat to seat. And then, I, I live in a, like a, a, what do you call it, uh, apartment. Uh, like, belt, whatever you want to call condo it. kind of deal and it's like a one car garage so we got 40, 48 when I put this in the garage I have to keep it I have to keep the tracker on the trailer oh my god that is cool This is a really good setup for like a lot of the early 20s and brass era stuff here today. Where's the duck pit? Yeah, let's walk up that way. See the black. I think it's about over, isn't it? Yeah.
Isn't that neat? That is so cool. Ding ding. I've never seen so many really early 1920s teens brass era vehicles and equipment at a show in my life. There really was some really incredible vehicles here in Wellington. I looked into it. The rocks are fiberglass. They're not hauling around, around real rocks on there. Past like the uh, uh, yeah. yeah, that and the uh, blacksmith. Walking through a big antique machinery show like this is like a Christmas list of things I'd love to drag home and try to fix. I just look at this stuff and think, man, I'd love to find one of those sitting in a fence row somewhere needing help and, and bring it home to redo it. Bonkers. How does something like that even survive? I think we can on a train though. Yeah, well the rocks are fake. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah. That's cool. Not a Ford guy, but man, I love those old cab over flat front Fords. The radiator fins are bent, and the paint's gone, and it's it's just still a truck, and it's out here, and I love that. So this would be a fun one to bring the Mercury to and park it if it were closer. But on a 90 degree day and the bad tires, I just don't think I want the stress. And the dirt. Yeah. Well, I mean, all they're all over there in the dirt too. We're not special. That's cool. But that, look how thin the paint is. Look at the tiger striping in that. Aw. I love the car. Thank you. What's Did, my boss doing in there? She's paying attention? Yeah, yeah she was looking at me. In case, she's wondering what you're doing. Yeah. She's waiting for that bike ride. That's cool a 1910 though. Buddha. Oh neat. Yeah. Rear road inspection car. Okay. Is that two foot gauge? Yeah, for now. Yeah. I got we can take it over to Youngstown and uh, run it. Standards too, right? You can take it over to Youngstown and run it with uh, Rick Rowlands over there. Ride it up and down the track. Yeah. Okay, that's probably who was talking to me. Yeah. I got invited over to the oh, yeah, gauge yeah. track. Yeah, he's got a whole two foot railroad over oh, in Youngstown. Wow. Youngstown Steel Heritage. Foundation. Somebody, that, that, that name's familiar. I gotta look at the cards. Yeah, right. I've known Rick for hell and ever. So. Yeah, running good. Yeah. I yeah, he making brakes for it because it's got to have some braking power. Yeah. And uh, I was going to put a reverse thing on it. So it, it went two, far the other way. Two foot gauge, you're going to take it to Youngstown or you're going to take it to Maine. That's about I'm it. I'm going to put it in my yard and my own tracks up. Buy that stuff at the hardware store. <laughs> yeah. Put me a loop in the yard. Yeah, that'd be cool too. My yard's on a hill. Yeah. So it'd be like the roller coaster effect. I get up on one oh end and then come around. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I will I will get my biggest longest seed on and I'll shove it up to the hill by the Show that and they show hard. Yeah. God, last year I bought 
we bought some tools we bought that cabinet we hauled a bunch of stuff cool stuff out of here that creeper this year i haven't found a damn thing I'm gonna try popping the clutch. I might have one push in me. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Go for it. Nope. <laughs> That's part of the problem. Is my clutch isn't. It's a little bit worn out and slippy. Yeah. It won't even let me get a good kick most. Of it's a beautiful bike though. Thank you. I hope you get her going. I will. Thank you. Yep. Wow, there's a rare one. Mm -hmm. Edelbrock, dual four, side to side. Looks like a Chevy. Flathead stuff. There's some deep offset wrenches. They're not any good. came in. Well, we'll go out the gate. Hang on, Dad. I, I want to get a little more footage of this thing. This is a 1929 Montgomery Warts tractor conversion on a 29 Chevrolet. And we tracked down the owner this time. We're going to talk to Charlie. Yeah. I, I did a short, yeah. How's it going? Hello. What are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm Aaron Gagne. I think I talked to you on Messenger about a year ago about the Chevy. Okay. Because I put it on YouTube and I had probably a a hundred people asking me questions about this car. Oh yeah. And they all wanted to know more about it because no one's ever seen one that wasn't a Ford. Okay. Because yeah. it's the only one Montgomery Ward conversion and you're on I got the GoPro okay. on. So okay. Fair warning. Okay. You're okay. on the GoPro. So how did you guys end up with this thing? So I I bought this at an auction. It was already built like this. Yeah. There were a couple it was in I want to say Orville, Ohio. Okay. There's a couple older um, two brothers that were dairy farmers. And I guess in their winter and their slow time, they would just pick a car or pick a tractor and restore it. And then when they died, they had an auction, and I picked this up there. That's incredible. When I bought it, it had some Farmall steel wheels okay. on the back with big lugs on them. Yeah. And then I took it down to this, and we rubberized it so that we could... Uh, so you had the uh, the round rims made then for yeah, it? Or those, those were, those on, were there. on there. They just had other um, okay. spike rims pulled it Gotcha, those, so. gotcha. Yeah. And I put it there. I, I just... Put a throwaway Thank shirt you. on there because like well that's cool i mean i got ten thousand people saw that oh, yeah. about a hundred people were asking me questions like oh, okay. I, like i honestly don't know anything else about it i walked past you guys here okay. i mean what a great draw it is for the greenhouse yeah, though yeah. having this this thing sitting out yeah, here about every night we take it for, for a drive around and okay lots of looks, so. that's nice so it starts right up starts up runs good and now is this one electric start yeah electric start it's been repowered with a chevy um, 271 or GMC 271 really tight squeeze in okay there. yeah very so the, tight the Chevy would have the original motor would have been a four cylinder yeah um, but it's a tight squeeze in there <laughs> uh, yeah 
That's probably out of fifties or sixties GM it's truck. A 50, then. I want to say fifty-three. Okay. All right. Yep. Well, how cool is that? Can you start? Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw it up there. Yeah. I got it really good. Watch court, sir. Yep, right up. <laughs> oh no, I don't think he'd ever sell this thing. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're probably and I mean more will turn up, but I bet there aren't more than ten of these left in the country. Well so so with this kit, I don't know if I explained that to you before. Yeah, that, I'm, was a, that was a conversion kit. Because I looked them up, but yeah. every one of my, they put them on a Ford. Yeah. And this is the only one I found on a Chevrolet. Okay. So and most of them too, where yeah. they would take the bodies off and shorten them too. Yeah. So this one, I mean, definitely. Because you'd have like a Ford pickup or an open top car, and they'd throw it on that yeah. because that was what they could get the cheapest. Right. Exactly. So yeah. or what the family had that wore out because everyone got a Model T first. Yeah. yeah. So when you got a better car, then. Yeah. And you, you do you do run into these kits. Mm -hmm. I still see those occasionally, but yeah. but never with the full body on. That's yeah. I, like it. I collect doodle plugs and got a few others, but they're all you know no bodies on them at all. Yeah. So. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, now I can put this in the video, and everyone that asks me, like, all right, now I found Charlie and I yeah. talked to him, and I heard the car run, and yeah. I got more information. So it's cool to drive around. It's super super rough ride. Oh yeah, it would Pretty have slow. to be. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's geared way down with the yeah. way that ring gear is. It would have to be. But uh, it gets lots of looks. Yeah. <laughs> you ever hooked to one bottom onto it just to see what it would do? I haven't. Now, people I was talking to from the family, they had a three bottom um, disc plow, yeah. which I bought from the auction also. And yeah. They, they had a picture of it pulling that. On the disc I, I haven't plow. tried it yet. Now, I've, you know what? In the fall, if you're working ground, it's very early spring in that enclosed car, that'd be nice. That'd be very nice, yeah, especially uh, at that time. Yeah, we have if no you were out there today, that'd be pretty miserable, yes, two would. miles an hour, yes, you know? Would, yeah. yeah, that would be a hot, rough ride. Yeah. yeah, I've never put a plow on. I would like to. This club used to do a spring warm up where mm -hmm. everybody come out and plow, and they've stopped doing that now, so but I've never gotten huh? out to that. If you ever want to go to a road trip, every fall I have a garden tractor plow day over in West Independence. We're 224 out west almost to Finley. Okay. And uh, we occasionally get bigger stuff, but it's usually people with antique garden tractors and okay. stuff like that. That's and if you ever decide to show up, then... Oh, yeah, that'd be great. You know. But uh, when, when is that? Um, we're going to... We're either the 5th or the 12th next month. We're okay. kind of waiting to see if it actually rains, because right now my ground is... Uh, <laughs> unplowable. Unplowable, <laughs> yeah. And we'd have a lot of broken stuff if right, we tried right. to do it now. But we're okay. waiting to see if it rains. Gotcha. Yeah. But occasionally, you know, some years we'll have 100 guys out there on garden oh, tractors awesome. going back and forth. Yeah, it might so, be interesting that. Yeah. Time. Send, if you would, send me some information sure, on that. Sure, sure. Cool. Okay, I still got you on Messenger, so. Okay. All right. Well, mission accomplished. Yeah, I wanted to get over last fall, and then everything got busy and yeah. and got into Christmas, and I'm like, man, he's not going to want to go out in the barn now. It's cold, right, and, yeah. and it's like, well, I'll catch you next year, and yep. here we are. All right, well, thanks again, Charlie. Hey, thanks a lot. Nice talking to you. Hey, Aaron Gagne. Aaron Gagne, okay. Yep. Good to meet you, sir. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Got a shake mill.
Jaguar 400 is supposed to look like. I'm gonna get the windows down. Yeah. Oh, she dirty. Yeah. My windshield was clean. <laughs> 